Okay, let's quickly talk on the disorders for blood circulation. We've spoken on the disorders for blood volume. We spoke about disorders for what blood proliferation, that's a production of blood cells. And now we'll be talking about what things that might affect what blood circulation in the body. Okay, so we have the pictures here all lined up and to just be a brief um to just be a brief um lecture going through everything that is needed okay so now we said a shock these others of shock circulation the first one we have is shock okay so it's this shock and what is shock shock is like okay there's this organ and this organ is not receiving enough blood as it used to be okay so we said that shock is the ineffective efficient of tissues or organ okay and it may be caused by a variety of conditions, including blood loss, infection, or poor cardiac output. Okay? Then the next one we have what atherosclerosis. My best definition for atherosclerosis is what there's deposition of lipid at the side walls of all those arteries and all that, all right? And basically will lead to atherosclerosis. So atherosclerosis reduces the flow of blood through arteries because ateroma line okay ateroma okay lines okay ateroma that's basically the position of fat okay this fat here okay to so actually line the arteries and narrow them ateroma tends to increase with age and its progression can be compounded by many causes including what smoking if you smoke if you have blood pressure if you have excessive circulating lipids, that's hyperlipidemia, and if you have diabetes mellitus. So this one, we've said that it is compounded. That means what? If you have any of these conditions as an underlying disease condition, it will basically trigger it more. Okay? Now, um, coagulation, that's uh, basically, you see coagulation. Uh, if there's coagulation within blood vessels just like that, it can form a thrombosis. Okay? And this can obstruct the blood vessel, okay? Can narrow the passage of blood or can basically will block it totally, all right? So now problems with blood composition and the pumping action of heart or narrowing of blood vessels can have many consequences, including hypoxia. That's lack of oxygen, okay? That means the tissues will not be receiving enough oxygen like they used to receive, okay? So now the term ischemia refers to what? Tissue that is inadequately perfused with blood, okay? And infarction also refers to what tissue death, that's necrosis, all right? And necrosis can occur when the blood supply has been blocked or is very inadequate. It could be that there's total blockage or it could be that the blood supply is so minimal that the tissue cannot survive anymore, all right? So guys, these are it, and these are the various disorders for blood. Circulation. See you guys in the next blood lecture.